really worked for this team. Um, you know, you guys are off to a great start. Well, I, I think a couple of things. One, this group of guys has created a culture where they show up every day and they work really hard. Uh, they compete really hard. And, and, and I think that sets the tone. Um, and then throw in the fact, really good kids, great ambassadors for this university, true student athletes are at the ninth best public school in the country. So they get it done in the classroom as well as on the floor. And, and then I, I think the last part is their chemistry. Uh, I haven't been around a group too many times like this where everybody's pulling for each other, nobody cares about who's getting the accolades, who's scoring the points, who's getting the assists. They just want to win at the end of the day. And when you got a group like that that creates a culture, ha you know, has great character, and then has that motivation to win, you can do special things. And, you know, you're an inherent competitor. You played this game a long time. You coached a long time. Your first year, five wins, that had to be hard for you. Well, it is, but, you know, you, you have to understand the, the rebuilding process. And, you know, we, we wanted to start from ground zero. And, and really, it starts with, you know, any coach bringing in the right players. And I sold them on, hey, there's, there isn't a Division One tradition in history here at UC Davis. You get the chance to, to start one. You get a chance to be on the ground floor of building that foundation. And some guys, hey, that, that intrigued them. Other guys, maybe not so much. They wanted to go somewhere else where, where it was ready made. So it's even more special with these guys. And I think when you go through adversity like we've done, and you lose games and you, and you struggle and not everything's easy, well, you got a great appreciation. Plus, you find out a lot about yourself. And you, you tend to, if you keep working, get better. And this group has fought through adversity. They've gotten better. They've, they've kept a great attitude. And they deserve the success that they're having. When you had a good measure of success as an NBA player, you were the ultimate grinder. Do you appreciate those days looking back? Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I wouldn't be the person I am today or the coach I am today if you didn't have the years where you win five games or I wasn't the player if I didn't have the years where I struggled, got cut, went to the CBA. And, and I think these guys, too, you know, you've talked to some guys who have had injuries. You've talked to some guys that, you know, it hasn't gone as well. We haven't won as many games. And, um, you, boy, you find out a lot about yourself. And this group kind of dug deep. And I knew this offseason, the way they attacked the spring and summer workouts and how hard they got after it, uh, that this was going to be something special. There's talent, but talent isn't enough. It's the culture, it's the work ethic, it's the character uh, that's given these guys a chance to win every night. Several of your players say, yeah, Coach Les, he still has game. You don't run the floor anymore. We understand you can still hit some threes, but are your legs shot? Uh, every once in a blue moon, uh, you know, I'll, I'll fire one up and, and talk a little trash, but my talking game is much better than my playing game. Uh, I just see too many guys on the recruiting trail with the torn ACL and the torn Achilles, and I don't, I don't have the time for any of that. Uh, plus, my time has passed me by. Last thought, how fun is it to coach your son? Uh, it's been great. Uh, you know, what, what a blessing. We, we have a great relationship, and for me to spend his, you know, college years and to be around him, I don't know if he feels the same way in terms of being around his dad every day, but uh, it's been a blessing for me. He, he's a great young man, and a part of our bond and uh, our in our good relationship is around basketball. He loves the game, I love the game. And um, I think we do a really good job, and it's because he's so mature of separating, hey, this is when, I need to be coach and you need to be the player. And then we make sure we carve out some time where it's father, son, hey, let's go have lunch. Let's not talk about basketball. Let's talk about you know, you and what's going on in your life. So uh, especially during the season, we got to make sure we have those moments as well as player coach.